Let's check this out. Let's make sure we're coming out live. Hi, everyone. I hope you are doing well. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is December 12, 2020. 12, 12, 2020. And we're doing comic book reading both today and tomorrow. Today's Saturday, 10 a.m. PDT. And tomorrow we're going to do one again. Sunday, 10 a.m. PDT, Pacific uh, West Coast, Canada, United States, my time. And uh, as before, we got five comics lined up here. And uh, three of these comics are from recent comic book hauls. Okay. This one, this one, and this one. And two of them are comic books. One of them is from a comic book haul I got like a few years ago. Uh, I don't even know if we, I, I think we did a comic book haul for this. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I've got this one in the last 10 years. First Silver Age of Play, appearance of Catwoman. These ones is uh, the first appearance of Eternal Warrior, Solar, Man of the Atom, number 10. And this I picked up off the shelf when it came out. We got a Bugs Bunny Christmas special. And this one is from 1950. When is this Bugs Bunny one? I've taken a whole bunch of notes here. Uh, this one is from 19, da, 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 1954. This is Headline. Headline Comics, Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby. And um, where is my headline? This is from 1947. Jack Kirby and Joe Simon. Oh my, oh my. We got Uncanny Tales. These guys we picked up like within the last two to three months okay now i'll give the lowdown on these comics uh as we do as people start coming in as the notifications go out because uh, we're going to do polls again to see which ones we're going to read or which one we're going to read today and then which one we're going to read tomorrow we'll do a poll on and while we wait for notifications to go out tobin bus how are you doing hey chicho i've been waiting to get back into comic book because i just finished high school and i have been binge watching your videos about comics excited for the stream awesome awesome seriously now for me as well i go through periods where i'm into comics and then i'm not into comics and i'm collecting a lot or i'm not collecting a lot depending on funds and i'm reading a lot and i'm not reading a lot but one thing i can tell you since i started doing these comic book videos which was like six years ago seven years ago now or so uh, five years ago six years ago man that's kept me up into collecting reading staying up to date so one of the things that's i find amazing about creating this content is comic books have uh, taken a new life of their own in, in my life even though i've been a collector comic book reading and collector for 30 plus years so i'm really glad you're enjoying the the comic book videos and uh, the content uh, it's it's amazing really i can't even imagine my life without comic books i, I can't i don't want to <laughs> like uh really um it, it would be like imagining your life without eating good food like oh what a miserable life it would be right aku 19 how are you doing hello hello twitching jason how's life how's life I got uh, Tony Bus. I got into comics because of your first collection video, but I haven't been in the game for about a year now. Ah, oh, no way! You got into comics because of the first video I put out. Nice, nice. I love that video, man. I love that video. It was like, it was an experiment on my part, just just showing people my sort of some of the books in my collection, and I didn't know how it was going to go, and I just wanted to create a nice setting. Uh, chill atmosphere and just share what I know or a li the little bit that I know um, just collecting over the years and showing off some of my collection so I'm glad that video um, is uh, is appreciated as much as it is really I go back to it every now and then and watch it myself I'm like oh snap oh, oh this is what I got X how are you doing uh, twitching Jason I think the first video of yours I ever saw was the one where you explain how the uh how to integrate comic books into your future future um uh, into your furniture that's right using them as tables and stuff <laughs> you have to i get so much so many comics okay here's put a stack like this together here's a table right here awesome 
laminate flooring comes in handy or hardwood flooring if you have it it's it's an all-time favorite for most people i'm sure awesome awesome cheryl how are you doing hope life is well gang uh just to let you know what this is all about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share like so if you want to know what this is all about patreon 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 is a good place to start everything's layered on mathematics and especially with the comic books because we've been collecting a lot of data buying a lot of comic books selling some comic books talking about history collectability and uh, looking at the grades and stuff like this and at some point we're going to incorporate all of that into ASMR videos and we sort of began with um with uh, a, a spreadsheet that we created and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support elder god how are you doing how are you doing we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o l-i-v-e so if you don't want to participate in these live streams in the chat that happens here or sometimes over here or sometimes over there <laughs> over there uh twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who've been supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for the support for the follows for the likes for the um subscribe for showing up on the live streams and the chit chat and the participation okay appreciate your support i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor allo minds vk gap and twitter and we do share additional content on those platforms and all the links will be in the description of this video and you can go to our uh twitch page anytime if we're live streaming or not and just type in exclamation mark social the way elder god did and all the links will pop up including our discord page where we have a lot of people joining the discord channel and sharing discussing commenting and uh, just open dialogue really which is fantastic for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video this live stream to both bitchute and youtube and if you want to support this work on those platforms you can like you can share you can comment and if you're on youtube you can turn on or join youtube membership and there's a button here and for those of you who join youtube membership thank you very much for the support as well as those who are uh, subscribed on twitch thank you for the support as well as those who are um, subscribed on uh, patreon who are supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support lonely piggy how are you doing how are you brother got myself some nice soup on potato cheddar bread from a local bakery Re ready for this comic book review. awesome awesome brother lonely piggy so jealous of your of your big <laughs> tony bus says twitching jason since you just mentioned math i'll actually register to take calculus next spring semester although i'm considering taking a clep exam for it instead clep i guess that's a sort of to just to get credit for it instead which is basically self-teaching and taking an exam for uh, for free college credit awesome that's great still not sure if it's worth it to pay for the class if i could potentially learn the material on my own and take an exam twitching jason i would highly recommend just taking it on your own worst case scenario you don't do well on the clep and then you have to take the course but if you have to take the course you're ahead of the game anyway right so your credit you'll do way better in the course than not taking it right i highly recommend gang if you want to go get a university degree college degree or whatever it is there are a lot of courses that you can challenge the course or as twitching jason says it's a set c l e p um wherever uh twitching jason is right so most places that i know in canada united states you can just write the final exam if you think it's material you know and get the credit for it for mathematics anyway i don't know how it works for other programs okay fire exit hey chicho and gang hello hello kebabs how are you doing hope you're doing well All right seriously take like i did that with uh, one math course that i took linear algebra i took a systems of differential equations and uh equations and modeling 
math course applied mathematics course that i had no right to take it was i wanted to take it because i wanted to get my math minor right when i was doing geophysics and um uh, really i had no right to take it it was an extremely difficult course and i needed linear algebra to take this course right but i didn't have linear algebra and i was being cocky and i said oh what the hell with it i'll just take it and see how it goes right now when i was taking this course i realized i needed linear algebra without it i couldn't do anything so i taught myself linear algebra and took the course right i ended up getting credit for the course not a great mark but good enough right and then the next term i took linear algebra i didn't even have to go to class i went the first day and looked the table of contents and everything that they were doing and i was like man i already know this stuff so every month every every like three weeks i would pop into class just to catch up or hand in my assignments and without doing anything i ended up getting like 98 percent on the course right which was basically i had already taught myself which is fantastic right Tony Bus, what did you do at uni? I did uh, geophysics with a minor in mathematics through the earth science department. So I did a lot of environmental work, which I wanted to do, uh, hydrogeology and stuff like that. Twitching Jackson, kelp is, is uh, kelp in the US. It's basically the equivalent of an AP, advanced placement, which is oh, what they give high school students. I think it's called DSST in other parts of the world. Okay, cool. Either way, I'll most likely be popping in to the math tutorial sessions a bit more often once I start. Awesome, Twitching Jason. You're definitely welcome. Definitely welcome. Oh, let me take these guys down. Gang, should we take a look at what we got in store today to read? Boop. Let me give you the lowdown. Let me give you the lowdown of what we got. Because we're going to take a vote to see what we want to read. I believe heavily in self-learning indeed me too and i got some nice delicious coffee going here and tea so <sighs> coffee and comics tea and comics like seriously i can't go wrong with it let's take a look at what we got gang let's take a look at what we got i'm not sure how many people are going to pop in today it's saturday morning it's a great time to read comics as far as I'm concerned. Weekend mornings, my God. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And we'll run a poll. And Cheryl, I'm not sure if you're up for it. Uh, if you wanna run the poor poll for us, I can do it as well. It's only one poll. If you wanna kick back and relax. I uh, like, really? Sure, sure, okay, awesome, awesome. Let me take off my hat. It's weird, it's fall and the temperature here is going warm and cold warm and cold i might put on my hat later on right sunday morning here sunday morning over there oh where are you sunday morning saturday morning if you're in the u.s today is saturday it's got to be saturday yeah today's saturday and we're gonna do one tomorrow morning <laughs> gang here's one of the comics we can read and thank you for the subs and the follows gilly welcome to our channel this is uncanny tales i wrote down a whole bunch of stuff i got my notes in front of me here right 2 a.m 2 a.m yeah yeah that is sunday morning wow 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 but i thought you were in the u.s taking it oh you, oh no that's twitching jason taking it oh, i'm getting the names all mixed up 2 a.m so where are you you're in australia Tony bus Chicho zombie still there yeah I know zombie still there we need some kind of emote for our membership joining and stuff like that I gotta there's a there's a fair bit of backend stuff that I'm sort of I don't know if procrastinating is the right word I'm just doing so much other stuff I haven't had the time to do any of the cleanup stuff Perth Perth Western Australia awesome awesome welcome Australia check this out this is uncanny tales number 30 from 1955 atlas comics okay which is marvel okay this was edited by stan lee the cover is carl burgos stan goldberg and seriously a lot of these comics they're giants like some of the greatest 
comic book artists have worked on all these comics right i'll give you the lowdown of who worked on what and some of the artists on these things once we get into them otherwise it's going to be a wall of text wall of um you know just me reading names and a mispronouncing everything right and don't forget gang free assange free assange free assange right so this is 1950 1955 from marvel comics really right and edited by stan lee you got uh, car burgers dick airs working on this sit shores working on this like so many people stan goldberg working on this and we ended up grabbing this in a previous comic book haul right and last like three months or so right this is great if you're 5.5 and we ended up paying 53 dollars canadian for this or 42 dollars us it was a good buy it's a beautiful comic right it's a beautiful comic okay so that's one of the ones we got so this is early silver age okay we got we got we got we got a golden age comic look at this beauty and this comic book we picked up at the same time as we did this in the same comic book hall right this is headline comics okay headline comics number 27 i'm reading my thing 1947 jack kirby joe simon can you say two other huge giants in the industry right jack kirby joe simon cover okay beautiful cover this is graded i bought this as a grade of four i think it's better both of these i think are i think this is better than five right or 5.5 and i think this is better than four i would give it a 4.5 five or so okay um and bill drawn did some of the artwork in this the artists in this and we ended up paying and this we bought in a two comic book all number 47 and 74 together with four uh, sorry 27 this one and seven, uh, 74 together but this is the full weight of the comic really the price ended up paying 66 dollars canadian for this 52 dollars us for this um beautiful book and this character here i had to look this up i didn't know who this was so just to do the prep for this uh this thing this lady here is stella may dixon okay and it was a sort of a bonnie and clyde team but it was a husband and wife uh sort of a depression era outlaw bank robbers where it was uh, benny benny and stella stella dixon i don't know their history right i know bonnie and clyde were legit like real life gangsters but i didn't realize she was a gangster as well but look at that cover beautiful like seriously right i think that's what the person is i haven't read this yet of course right ding bobber how are you doing listen to any bench no i haven't yet ding bobber check this out we are in december it's christmas time and we picked this up in a lot which was an amazing amazing insane deal where it was four of these bugs bunny peter pan and walt disney and hanna barbera and dal giant comics for like 10 10 50 11 dollars canadian right which is like eight dollars us right and it was insane it was like a giveaway right so we are in december it's a christmas time reading special and there's so many people that have worked on this like it's insane like what did i write this down bugs bunny you you got ralph henman mel crawford um this is by the way i when i looked this up this blew me away this comic and a lot of the dell comics from the 1950s okay all the way up to 1974 helen honig meyer was the publisher the editor for these right and she was the first okay first woman in a to uh to be running a major publishing house in the united states of america right which is like huge huge i need to look into this uh, uh for her a lot more right uh it looks like she had a huge part to play in introducing bringing a lot of the uh hannah barbera mgm disney warner brothers characters into the comic book realm 
right so really it, it blew me away just a little bit i read on uh, there's a couple of couple of sites i went to for uh, uh, to get the info one of them was wiki just straight up wikipedia which is you take it with a grain of salt right but for comic books is not bad for mathematics is not bad uh, politics economics do not rely on wikipedia <laughs> not by a long shot but for comic books it's not bad there's been discrepancies in comic books it's not 100 percent really um but uh, it was pretty cool and uh, other comic book um, websites gave some info on this uh so and there's a ton of people that have worked on this and ton of ton of uh characters from the universe of bugs bunny right you got the tweety bird in here you got elmer fudd porky pig um bugs bunny and uh, what do you call this uh, uh i forget the cat's name what's the cat's name again right so this would be a fun read as well how do the points work not super familiar with twitch uh the points are uh, basically the more you watch or you subscribe or you do certain things you acquire points here and at some point we um like at some point we just did one like for our 1000th anniversary youtube video uh people could redeem their points and we auctioned off comic books that i published and jam and honey and stuff like this and a book uh that we who were the highest bidder basically uh won the auction and i sent off sort of gifts to people sort of my thank you uh, for this thing save them for auction time save them for auction sylvester that's right the kitty cat thanks graham i knew you would know this sylvester right so there's a whole bunch of compilation stories of different um hanna barbera i think this is a hanna barbera uh characters right this one check this out this is uh superman's girlfriend lois lane number 70 from dc comics right so we got a nice mix here this is giant dell this one is um who is it this is i forget who they're publishing this is prize publications okay this is atlas comics which is marvel pre-marvel right and we got dc this is first uh, cheryl's like right on Lois Lane. <laughs> and first silver age appearance of catwoman Woohoo! rock and roll rock and roll right and this one is uh who is this kurt schoffenberger i'm brutalizing the name right kurt schoffenberger all to all top picks today yeah really i picked some nice ones really right i just wanted to mix it up Oh, you know just cover different genres you got crime suspense you got sort of horror uh, horror sort of science fiction type of stories you got nice uh, you know animation cartoon characters you got first major appearance of a major comic book uh, character right so this would be cool as well and check this one out we got solar man of the atom number 10 first appearance oh nice glossy cover first appearance of eternal warrior first appearance of geomancer from valiant comics and it's the final story arc of um what do you call it uh alpha and omega for uh, valiant comics right and this i picked up at the time and alpha and omega solar man of the atom the early valiant comics number one to ten is considered to be one of the greatest story arcs ever right and it's the first appearance of eternal warrior and uh, uh the geomancer right and we're not going to read i have this is the first print and here's the second print the second print has this this two on there the roman numeral okay so we're going to read this one it's the same thing right uh just because this is like extremely uh it's in a really good shape i mean it's what would this be graded at this is at least 9.4 right so i don't want to do any more damage to it uh this one is not as common as some of the other comic books right uh so we're gonna read the second print of this thing okay and uh it's an important book very important book it's got two story arcs in here one of them is just a solar man of the atom story 
and then the second part is alpha and omega okay so these are our choices for what we're gonna what we can read and we're gonna run a poll uh, to see which one we want to go with gang tough decision tough decision Sir, seriously I I I really can't say which one I want to read first I've read solar man of the atom this is the one I've read uh, I read it when it first came out I haven't read any of the other ones I flipped through this one right important when I bought it a few years ago okay and I bought this ridiculously cheap right I bought the lowest lane the first second and third appearances I believe no the first and second and another lowest lane comic for like $35 or something right not Hanna Barbera so that's not Hanna uh, Hanna Barbera but now owned by Warner Brothers so it's, uh, Warner Brothers the Looney Tunes ownership is a big subject is it okay yeah it moves around I can't figure it out right so it's not Hanna Barbera it's Warner Brothers okay Cheryl is ready when you are okay awesome Cheryl thank you very much I will stay true to my myself and vote for the oldest comic haha <laughs> the oldest comic would be this one right and Lois Lane is 1966 solar man of the atom is um, 1992 okay Bugs Bunny is Bugs Bunny what is Bugs Bunny Bugs Bunny 1954 right so we got 1955 1947 uh, 1954 1966 and 1992 okay that's what we got neither this is tough this is tough I can't <laughs> really what do we do <laughs> we could bring dice next time I pick six comics roll the dice and the dice decides what we end up reading right uh, as for time Cheryl should we make it uh, you know five minutes I don't know five minutes uncanny takes uh, uncanny tales look sweet yeah it does I like Twilight Zonus stories indeed it is right and this this and this these three we picked up in the last like three months right and comic book hauls okay this one I bought the lowest lane I bought in the last 10 years and solar man of the atom I picked off off the shelf when it first came out okay all of them uh, Tony bus we will be reading all of them once I bring up the comics for a selection to read we're just gonna decide on the one we're gonna read today tomorrow we're gonna do another poll read another one <laughs> right? that's the name of the game Graham on tally on uncanny tales is my pick sure totally up to you may not need the whole five yeah we may not need the whole five how about three minutes sure three minutes Cheryl let's do it Roland Red says uncanny tales or we riot <laughs> uncanny tales oh I won't say I won't go political I'm going I'm going the true crime or uncanny tales and true crime like seriously Jack Kirby Joe Simon the creators of Captain America right and Jack Kirby the creator of I don't know how many like Jack Kirby the person that did this one Jack Kirby is like the creator of what more than half the comic book characters in uh, in Marvel for Marvel and the comic book quiz is up or the poll is up I'm good either way Elder God says so gang we got uncanny tales we got headline comics Bugs Bunny Lois Lane and Solar Man of the Atom uncanny tales is sitting at two votes right now headline is sitting at one Bugs Bunny is sitting at two at one so uncanny tales got two headline comics has got two right now okay and Lois Lane and Solar Man of the Atom are sitting at zero a pop they're not even off the out of the gate yet <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl so cool as oh my so we got two votes a pop right now and Bugs Bunny sitting at one okay stop the count stop the count cap up says three tails for three votes four votes for uncanny tales right now four votes for uncanny tales two votes for headline comics one vote for Bugs Bunny and Lois Lane and Solar Man of the Atom are not out of the gate yet okay oh we got one for Lois Lane one for Lois Lane, one for Bugs Bunny, two for Headline, four for Uncanny Tales. Nice, nice, nice. 
Look at the selection, man. Beautiful comics, beautiful comics. Loving it, loving it. We got three for headline comics. So we got four, three, two, uh, sorry, one and one. Five now for Uncanny Tales. Five votes, three votes, one and one. And poor Solar Man of the Atom is sitting at zero, most likely because it's a modern age comic. But what a story, Solar Man of the Atom. Wow, wow, wow. You got Barry Windsor Smith, Jim Shooter. Wow, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Solar some love. I'm I'm vo voting for Solar. It's gotta go up to one at least, right? We got Bugs Bunny with one, Solar with oh Solar with two now. Lois Lane's got three. Headline Comics is sitting at th uh no, oh, sorry, Lois Lane has got what is Lois Lane? Lois Lane is a two. Oh, Solar is going up to three. Tied with Headline Comics at three. We got Lois Lane at two. And Bugs Bunny is sitting at one with Uncanny Tail sitting at five. We're down to the last like 45 seconds, gang. 45 seconds going, right? We got Headline at three, Solar at three, Uncanny Tales at six now. Oh, it looks like it might be Uncanny Tales. We got Solar at four right now. Look at this, look at this from Valiant Comics. Headline is at three, and we got two votes for Bugs Bunny and Lois Lane, and we're in, done. So we got Uncanny Tales won it with six votes. Solar's got four, uh, Headline Comics at three, and Bugs Bunny and Lois Lane got two votes a pop. Uncanny Tales it is this is seriously fraudulent this is seriously fraudulent what <laughs> spontaneous but <laughs> this poll is sponsored by dominion well i don't think we have the biden family running it and getting you know telling us to read a biden comic book right so it's not gonna happen <laughs> we need a full audit <laughs> hilarious hilarious craziness 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 fun stuff fun stuff Chicho is the media making it clear who he voted for now? Obviously rigged. Just throw out the poll. Just throw out the poll. Recount. Recount. <laughs> fun. 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 Awesome gang. So we're going to read this. Okay. And I'll, I'll give you the list of who the people are here. I'm just going to run through it really fast once we get into the reading. Chicho not Cheryl says not Dominion <laughs> hilarious scrub the records scrub the records clean it clean it the comic I voted for didn't win clearly rigged clearly rigged clearly rigged whoever whoever you voted for didn't win you need to run it to the supreme court uncanny cheating <laughs> Joe Bucky Bucky Roland I have over 1,000 uh, affidavit <laughs> Witness the cheating. <laughs> where is the, uh, where is the cameras on the side with the suitcases coming out, the suitcases of votes coming out, craziness, craziness. Go to commercial. Go. We had a water water pipe break. <laughs> we gotta cut the string, gang. <laughs> we got a water. Everyone clear out. Everyone clear out hilarious we talk to your comment section <laughs> i love this community <laughs> funny funny calling a lawyer setting up the lawsuit right now yeah yeah um, and i'm not affiliated with you man you can file your own lawsuit i'm gonna file my own lawsuit okay <laughs> hilarious i think ukraine and china are involved in this deal what's going on here man what's going on funny okay gang i'm going to turn off the notifications da, 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 da. i'm going to turn off the chat let me have a sip of tea i'm going to switch off the coffee have a sip of tea and we're going to read uncanny tales from 1955 i'm going to turn off the chat that appears here and i'm going to turn off the video okay and i'll be back after the reading uh, so we can chat things up okay so let's turn off the chat Boop. and let's turn off my video uh, where are we uh yeah this guy and 
this guy. I'll see you guys after the reading, gang. Great selection, great pick, great comics. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. And today we're going to read Uncanny Tales number 30 from 1955, okay, from Atlas Comics, which is Marvel Comics, basically, okay. And uh, this comic book is edited by Stan Lee. The cover is by Carl Burgos. He did the pencils and the inks for it okay and the color is by stan goldberg and both carl uh, burgos and stan goldberg were very active in the comic book industry uh, carl was basically creator or worked on the human torch with marvel comics number one he was a sort of a co-creator of human torch i believe and stan goldberg uh, he did a lot of coloring for spider-man fantastic four early comic books from marvel comics and uh, some of the most important characters uh, from marvel comics right the stories in this comic book there the pencils are by dick Ayers. okay a uh, couple of the stories anyway the pencils are by dick Ayers. the inside by er ernie bachi okay and the the other people that have worked on this is sid shores and Sid Shores is he did early work with Captain America and he did a lot of horror comics and whatnot we have Bill Benulis Sid Green Ed Win Wimier key apologies from brutalizing the names and we've got John Forte uh, working on this as well and again it's edited by Stan Lee and this is from a comic book haul that we had in the last couple of months that we picked up and this comic book was uh is basically i bought it at a grade of 5.5 and it ended up costing us 53 dollars canadian 42 dollars us and it's a good buy it was a very good buy okay it's got a little bit of chipping going on up top here when we pull it out we'll take a look at the comic book right and i haven't read this yet many surprises what does it say many surprises are in store for you when you read to human right. fantastic and it's a beautiful chest cover right beautiful chest cover right and uh, just so you know we'll crack this open we are live streaming this on twitch as well right so if you're watching this on uh, youtube or bitshoot or any other platform that we end up uploading after the fact uh, if you want to participate in these live streams because we did a poll of five comic books you want to join us on twitch you can submit your vote to see what we're going to be reading okay let's take a look at this thing so let's take a cover so would this be graded at 5.5 let's take a look at this thing right So there's the chipping, right? Maybe chewing. But I think it's chipping just the way it's come out, right? Yeah, this would be a 5.5, .5, anywhere between 5 to a 6, right? Depending on how liberal you are with your uh, grading. Okay. It's a nice cover. No major chunks missing beautiful chest cover and we love chess right put out a video where I showed you guys uh, my chess collection and uh, our gaming book collection right and it's one of the early I believe in 1955 was the first year where they did the comic code uh, approved by the comic code authority right and we've talked about the comic code authority we've got videos out doing the reading for the comic code authority which is basically censorship kicking in right uh, 
to make sure comic books were not polluting children's minds right insanity insanity and it's a beautiful cover really i love this cover intense look at the eyes on these guys whoa look at that look at that right beautiful let's take a look at the back cover now ah, there's a little chunk missing here okay otherwise in really good shape advertisement I mean look at this and it's really tight staples like solid when we flip it open we'll take a look at this right so legit five five point five I agree with the grading right in the mylar it looks uh, better Let's see if it focuses given premiums or cash commission given be first act now get a bb gun get a holy bible we trust you right nice thank you graham graham says he put the scans um in discord for anyone reading along at home very nice very nice so this should be part of the creative commons uh in comic book uh, there's a couple of forums where you can read uh, the comic books uh once they've entered the public domain right luckily the corporations that are extending copyright laws weren't able to hit these ones up right very cool very cool look you can get a little once in a lifetime what is that is that a real pony it can't be a real pony it's a little statue pony right cool let's flip this let's go through this <clears throat> oh look at this two human look at that that's a beautiful chest set look at that beautiful beautiful all right, but before we read the story, let's take a look at the advert on the back cover, right? And you can see the the chipping here better, right? Is that chipping or chewing? Not sure. The visual. Now give yourself a hundred and sixty eight dollar a month raise okay sure we'll start you in a proven money earning spare time business at no cost to you send for free business kits there you go you can sell shoes look at that you can be al bundy take orders for over 170 dress sports work shoe styles Guaranteed good housekeeping. Cool. Let's read the fine print on this. I love these fine prints, really. Now it's going to be hard reading it. Let's see. Hopefully the camera focuses. Uncanny Tales, published monthly by Prime Publication Incorporated, Office of Publication, 655 madison avenue new york new york entered a second class matter at the post office at new york new york 655 madison avenue new york new york volume one number 30 april 1955 issue arthur marchand circulation director price 10 cents her copy subscription rate dollar 45 for 12 issues including postage no similarity between any of the names characters 
persons and or institutions appearing in this magazine with those of any living or dead person or institution is intended and any such similarity do, 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 which may exist is purely coincidental Monroe Folick Fo Frolick Jr. business manager printed in the USA printed in the USA cool the artwork's beautiful by the way right so I believe this is the pencils is by Dick Harris I don't believe it's signed though oh yes it is take a look at this thing awesome we found the signature of it so there's Dick Harris signature right there right so the pencils is by Dick Harris and Dick Harris is huge gang like he he used to be known as the inker for Jack Kirby and uh, in the early days he was doing a lot of pencils as well right and we actually I put out a comic book with Dick Harris pencils on it with Lander number one right so I got a sort of a soft spot for Dick Harris and he was an amazing person uh, from all accounts Dick Harris was an extremely nice guy an extremely nice guy okay so uh, huge respect for Dick Harris huge respect for Dick Harris Dick Harris as far as I'm concerned gets as much respect from me as does Jack Kirby right and a lot of other creators as well and the inks for this is done by Ernie Bashi okay so let's have a read through this to human the first story since chess is a game of strategy intelligence chess wizard oh, let's see if this focuses on that. chess wizard Blanick decided that two brains would be better than one even if the second brain were mechanical but there's such a thing as being too brainy. Jenny Paul's move, the guy says, check. He's made his move. Take a look at that. Beautiful chest set, beautiful chest set. Look at that. Look at the pieces. Look at that. King and queen. Oh, look at the head on that guy. Whoa. Look at the head on that guy. Whoa. Big brains. Check. Let's see. I cannot take my king out of the check position. I haven't got a move. Uh-oh. I'm done for Gianni Polo you've beaten me for the fifth time congratulations better luck next time Blanick so that's checkmate let's see what happens He's mocking me as if luck were the only way I could beat him, but he's right. I haven't the special intellectual power Jenny Polo got. They all have it, all the great ones. He's walking away. He's not happy about losing. Barchenko, Sicciolloni, and Gianni Polo. They can play 12 games at once without once looking at the board. I'm doomed to inferiority. The only reason Gianni Polo beat me in only five games is that we 
haven't played more haha <laughs> yet I know apart from the chessboard I'm smarter than they are I'm Felix blank the world's leading electronics expert My electronic genius will come to my aid. I'll find a way to beat them all, he says. I've got it. I'll make chess men who think for themselves. So pieces that think for themselves. That's a nice panel. Is soaked. I won't have to do any thinking at all. Properly constructed, the chessmen will pick out the moves that will win for me. So Blank's ingenious scheme was put into operation. Blanket's ingenious scheme was put into operation. When I'm through with these men, my pieces will be thinking out their own strategies. Look at that, he's working on them. New strategies that will revolutionize the chess world, strategies that would never occur to human players weeks passed in which Blanick hardly ever left the laboratory outwardly they look like ordinary chess pieces inwardly they think and feel like miniature people With one edition, they will have. They will have instinctive intelligence concerning chess. The leader of my attack, the mastermind of my defense will naturally be my king he will be the napoleon of chess strategies strategists all the other pieces will obey him instantly as in warfare my king will organize a total mobilization against the enemy's defense that will sweep all before it nice panel the day finally came when the entire set was ready for action no chess player will have a chance against them not even Gianni Polo I can't wait until the national tournament begins next January January came and Blanek was a sensation von Gorwitz was the first victim I still don't understand it you beat me in 10 moves exactly as I planned it von Gorwick Gorwitz better luck next time uh -huh. I think this is the same guy that was in the first page was it yeah right there check that out so that guy right there is this guy right here cool 
So he beat, what's this guy's name again? Von Warwick, Warwitz. Barchenko was next on the list. I'm checkmate, but your moves, I still don't understand them, he says. Don't bother to, they're beyond your comprehension, he says. Ciccolini, Ciccolini fell in the same finals. But how can it be? I had you trapped. No, Ciccolini, I merely let you on. You fell from my gambit and lost. Came the night of the finals. I hope you don't mind playing with my own set, Giannopolo. The pieces have brought me luck. Play with any set you please, Blanick. Once bring one one's brain is everything in is everything chess pieces are nothing he says little does he know that my king is like a human being electronic of course who commands my every move who even now transmits its brilliant strategy to my fingers five minutes later Incredible. You've never played like this before, Blanick. I'll take your bishop. That's not over yet, Giannopolo. <sighs> Ten minutes later, it's a rout. I only have my queen left. Your move, Giannopolo. I'm not done for yet. Your castle, Blanick. You're prolonging it needlessly, he says. Perhaps, but a queen can do a lot of damage, my friend. Your knight. Oh, he's taking him out. What's going wrong? My king is making blunders. Have I made some electronic error? Five minutes later. Your bishop, he's threatened my king. I'm on the run. What could have happened, he says, or thinks. Look at that. Moments later, well, Blanick, all's well that ends well. Checkmate. What? He did it. I've lost. But how can it be? I had Halapa, Janapolo reduced to a queen but even as a as Blanick spoke to himself he noticed something a smile on the face of Janapalo's queen a smile only a conquering woman can smile Blanick's hand reaching out for the king His eyes fell on the king's face. Was it possible? There was a tear in the king's eye. Look at that. His king and fall his king had fallen in love with the opposition queen. Gladly he had lost to her. Blanick had made his chessmen too human. Uh -huh. The end. Look at this one. For the for the best in unusual stories, look for the Atlas seal on the cover, and that's the Atlas seal. He fell in love with the queen and sacrificed all his men. He gave up his kingdom. Wow. That's like Shakespearean really right human history love cool very cool 
the seekers. Oops, let me show you this. The seekers. We won't read this. There's a few stories that we want to read as well, right? Picture yourself going places. What is this thing? International Correspondence School. Wow. Architecture. So this is like an online version of uh, taking courses. And these are legit, by the way. These courses were very legit. Okay. Uh, you could send in the information and they would send you booklets and you would read, you would teach yourself the information and then you would write exams and submit them and you would get a certificate. Okay. And you would learn. If you took these things seriously, you would learn a certain trade, right? I know this because I have some of those booklets that my father went through, through architecture and engineering. And there's his handwritten notes where he learned how to do that stuff. And he worked in the field for like 40 years, 40, 50 years, right? So if you take education seriously, you can teach yourself a lot, right? Acquire the skills you need to acquire, get your experience in the workforce and go from there. Look at this one. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at that. collector's item should we take a look at this let's read this let's read the second story and who is here's the signature of the artist there's two artists here take a look there's one signature that says what does that say bill that's got to be bill banulis okay so this is uh the story right here Bill Benulis, B N U L I S, and then there's another signature here. I don't know if they'll focus in there. What does that say? F R Z something. So I'm not sure who this one would be. Okay, cool. Was that a number? Someone on the gram on the stream is saying there's a number. Oh, here it is. That's right. Look at that. There was a number here. So that's the number F923, right? So that might be like their file name or something. And this one is F825, I believe. I think that says F825. It does. Cool nice catch nice catch ground let's take a look at this story collector's item okay nice panel nice stretch from the guy let's see what this is all about I may not make a fortune as a reporter, but at least I can afford a room with a view and nothing beats the Empire State Building as a last sight before going to bed. Yawn. But the next morning, John Rand gapes in incrodiously with the rest of the astonished crowd at 34th Street impossible the Empire State Building just can't disappear no one saw it happen the building was completely vacant and when the night watchman took a look back well he's still being treated for shock Then John Rand spots something fluttering in the excavation. Someone left a calling card. MGYD collector. M 
GYD collector. Reporting to his newspaper office, John Rand runs down the one sli slim clue to the fantastic mystery. No character named NGYD in any of the phone records. But the next night, the collector leaves another card to replace the Washington Monument. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. There is a Washington Monument gone. Let's scan this panel. Cough scratching his head. He's like, I don't know what's going on. And that's the reporter, I guess, questioning the cop what happened. Halfway around the world, MGYD leaves his next card in the sandy plot where the Sphinx stood for thousands of years. And two days later, MGYD drops his card in Paris. Oh, there goes the Eiffel Tower. Mundu, I was almost through with my masterpiece of the Eiffel Tower and poof it's gone piecing together all the information from the world shaking thefts John Rand offers an incredible theory someone from another and more advanced planet is carting off the wonders of our world to his I don't know how but he is doing it ran I ought to take you off your job as a reporter and start you on a comic strip uh -huh. maybe this planetary character will whisk Rand off into space he's sure a wonder okay laugh but if I can figure out the next thing on earth to be taken and can see it happen I'll have the scoop of the century he says where he thinks it's a thought bubble let's see what he figures out carefully calculating where NGYD will leave his next card John Rand flies to India if in NGYD lifts the Taj Mahal tonight he'll be getting me as a bonus with it Oop. let's check this out for hours John Rand maintains his lonely vigil then his eyes tire his tired eyes begin to close his head nods he sleeps until suddenly creak rip bump the whole place is shaking he says the building is rising from the ground wow what are all these bubbles suspended S suddenly the building begins to spin with astonishing speed it turns in a vortex as John Rand slumps to the floor back out backing out what are all those bubbles Take a look.
coming to John coming to John Rand staggers to the window of the Taj Mahal and stares out at an alien landscape another planet and with all our missing wonders as well as some I've never seen before look at that you got the Eiffel Tower you got a giant robot some alien stuff and you got the buildings and you got the sphinx and you got the washington monument that's the empire state building i guess look at that two moons three moons or suns no it would be the moon because the stars are out right as his feet bounce across the strange rubbery ground of another world he sees more fantastic trophies in the startling collection the Giffel bridge planet train whoever m m y g d is he's been adding to his collection from all over the universe look at that at a bridge what why you must be ngyd look at the little old guy <laughs> that's good he looks super cute yes and you are one from the planet they call earth but i've always been careful uh, that the wander wanders I collect are vacant at the moment of teleportation well now that you are here you will stay look at this guy big brain he's got little antennas I admit I came with the Taj Mahal for the ride but I hoped I'd be it'd be a round trip I'm a reporter and my story is no good unless I can report it he says I will show you the machine I use to teleport the wanderers of the universe to my world assembling an unrivaled collection of alien masterpieces this is my teleporter through the lens I focus on the desired object now the now the leaning tower of Pisa then a force reduction field transports my collector's item here the machine can be reversed that is how I leave my card but you will never never have a chance to restore the objects or yourself to earth <laughs> this guy <good. laughs> he looks so harmless little lever watching the fantastic collector add more items from half a dozen planets to his collection john rand learns how to operate the teleporter and makes a desperate bid for freedom no use mr rand the light flashes the alarm system has alerted me that you were approaching the controls As MGYD con continues rebuking John Rand for his attempted escape, the collector suddenly looks down at his own dematerializing body. 
half his body just vanished let's check this out oh look at that And in a fraction of a second, the fantastic collector completely dissolves into thin air. He's gone. Now I can reverse the machine and teleport the wanderers back to Earth along with myself. Once there, I'll try to figure why MGYD disappeared. But as John Rand starts for the teleporter, a strange calling card begins to materialize at the very spot where MGYD vanished. Smash. Ah, oh, the guy's little bubble thing is there, and there's the card appearing, right? N O F L I, collector of collectors. <laughs> Awesome collector of collectors. <laughs> the N O F L I collects collectors. Fantastic. That's the great punchline. What a fun collector of collectors. I don't think I've ever heard that before. And for the best in unusual stories, look for the Atlas seal on the cover. Collector of collectors. Awesome. <laughs> I got, got zapped. <laughs> He's joined the collection. Oops. <laughs> That's great. That's a good story. Fantastic. Look at the guy. Look at his face. Oops, he's not going to be happy about that. Hopefully he's fed well. Right? What does this say? Now you can fly a real jet plane. We've seen this before. Silo jet. New amazing. New amazing silo jet. Actually fly at a scale speed of 600 miles per hour what sensational bonus offer if you can act immediately you get the f9 f panther and you get the f94 starfire plus amazing jetex number 50 jet engine all for a dollar ninety eight. Look, you can get your own jet planes for a dollar ninety eight. The nineteen fifties. What a great time to buy jet jet planes. <laughs> this is the F uh, eighty nine Scorpion. I wonder if these are the water ones. Assembles assemble and fly in two minutes. guarantee and it's got a guarantee guaranteed to fly yeah. cool let's see the next story yeah take take a look here's the number again f897 right and do we have a artist signature on this don't see an artist signature right so Christmas time cool so we get a Christmas story for December stumble bum stumble bum look at the panel nice panel let's get it focused look at that love the golden age panels of like crowds and stuff whole story here let's read this let's see what it about stumble bum
all the world is is gay this Christmas Eve late shoppers mingle in a merry throng their laughter blends with the kindle of bells yes it's a happy time for everyone except Harvey Croy Christmas it'll be like every other day I'm broke hungry got couples shopper someone looking in the window looking to buy something you got a skinny Santa ringing a bell and collecting money this guy's down and out excuse me mister but could you spare two bits for a hungry man oh, is that kid crying yeah the kid's crying spoiled kit maybe and Harvey Coy is begging on Christmas Eve because of because of his hunger a wild idea finds its way into his thoughts they give a good meal at the city jail on Christmas turkey and all the trimmings yeah that's it got to spend christmas in jail he says so harvey finds a piece of pipe in a trash pile and oh there's a cop right there as well take a look Caught walking the beat. Now let him arrest me. I'll get ten days, but I'll eat. I'll have a big feet, big feet tomorrow. Crash. But the noise startles someone. In that store a man runs out and the law sees him oh the guy's got a gun help police look at that someone was robbing the place in a minute there's more law to hustle the crowd on its way but officer I broke that window on your way no loitering the cop says that's how it's always been Harvey's luck is always bad he turns in a false he turns in a false alarm come on come and get me he says or he thinks soon they come and harvey's eyes behold the unbelievable there is a fire i rang in the alarm officer i wanted to okay so move now move on now no loitering the cop says he's like a lucky charm right place at the right time don't see nothing ahead for me not even a bowl of soup I just got to do something the little kitty watching him suddenly Harvey sees a large uh, silver coin on the sidewalk quickly he stoops to pick it up and is overcome with disappointment lucky piece melts her shoes wishes a good customer good luck Oh, a lucky piece that's a laugh well I'll keep it at least it feels like money and it's snowing on him now white Christmas then 
as Harvey crosses the avenue, lost in some vague dream. Look out, the guy says. Watch where you're going. Oh, he almost gets run over. Look at that. Crack. Smash. Harvey shuffles on, and, and all of a sudden, what is this? Something just fell. What is it? Oh, it's a piece of the building on the side. Just misses him. Wow. Another escape, but this time, Harvey's heart beats with a faint hope as he fingers the lucky piece in his pocket. You okay, mister? He could have been badly hurt, she says. He's scratching his head. He walks on, his heart filling with that hope now. It can't be the lucky piece. I don't believe in things like that. Just the same. Oh, why don't I quit kidding myself, he thinks. He wants proof of the coin's power, good luck, the real thing, and it comes just a few yards ahead. A five dollar bill, nice. It's really a fiver, he says, or thinks. Nice, look at it, he's totally happy. Very cool, very cool. He's got a fiver, right? Nice. five bucks my lucky piece did it i know that now i can eat tonight and have enough left over for a swell christmas meal dave's diner Look at that. mommy i'm so hungry what are we gonna eat the little kid says i don't know i just don't know the mother says Oh, there's two kids there. There's a girl there too. Look at that. Right? Oh, Harvey sees them both. Or all three of them anyway. Harvey tries to go through the door of the cafe, but something holds him back. Look, lady. Them kids got to eat. It isn't right standing out in the cold like this. Can't you see I haven't the piece, a price of a meal? She's crying. Look at that. Harvey presses the five dollar into her hand. All that stands between him and hunger. Oh, bless you, mister. Bless you, she says. Wait a second. How many kids does she have? Is that another kid? Or is that just a handkerchief? They're in the cafe ordering, and only now does Harvey realize what he's done. I could be in there right now, putting on the feed bag. I say there, fella, the old man says. I saw what you did, sir, and it was a mighty fine thing. I can see you could have used that yourself. You're right, I could. I'm a fool, mister.
Oh no, it's a splendid thing to give. That kind of generosity shouldn't go unrewarded. Come to my home for a good Christmas dinner. After that, we'll talk about a job for you with my company. Thanks, mister. I'll sure be there, he says. The con, my good luck piece. That's what's done it. But I should have asked the guy for a dollar so I could eat tonight. Everything all everything will be different from now on. I'll take that job and I'll work hard. I'm through being a bum. Look at me standing tall. The next day, Harvey hurries to the subway station. He searches in his pocket for the fare and finds only one coin, the lucky piece. I, I got to get there to get that meal and the job. He has only one course to follow and he takes it. He slips the silver, silver good luck piece to the man in the change booth he gets a token and change but as harvey plunges plunges through the turnstile hey there wise guy you can't get away with passing a phony coin officer grab that bum oh no oh no in those few moments it's all over the big dreams the job the sunny f future at least give me my lucky coin back nothing doing that phony coin is evidence oh no so Harvey finally makes it he's in jail having his Christmas dinner and in a way that's pretty good luck for a stumble bum hmm not bad not home cooking exactly but not bad at all wow he's happy oh poor guy he almost had it made ah nothing wrong with him going checking out that guy later for the best in unusual stories look for the atlas atlas seal on the cover again hey kids join the fun hey kids join the fun walk on stilts that's cool new built it yourself stilt kit two dollars take great big giant steps be the tallest kid on the block funny boys girls men women exciting new way to make money serve the serve the lord while you earn welcome earn welcome cash what are these things home sweet home trust in the lord lord the shepherd god bless our home faith God have faith God have faith in God huh. I don't think we've seen something like this yet huh? is there a number on this one yes there is take a look there's a number on this one too f895 one in a million the story is there a signature of the artist nope let's have a read through one in a million man look at the x-ray machine eh they used to have these things in like 
gas stations and grocery store until they realize it's not a good idea to get x-rays of things right well doctor the patient asks you may get dressed now mr phillips I got dressed like the doctor said I felt worse than I had before he'd given me the works every possible test he hadn't talked much except for an occasional hmm I was worried sit down mr. Phillips the doctor says sit down as though what he was going to say I couldn't take standing up that bad huh now take it easy mr. Phillips the doctor says look doctor I'm a married man and I have two children don't beat around the bush I've got to know how I stand he says all right I'll give it to you straight you have a heart condition a real attack might come at any time and when it does you won't recover the doctor says that attack may come in a day a week a month at most a month to live if I'm lucky oh what about an operation no mr. Phillips I can't build up false hopes no operation can do you any good the doctor says could it ever heal go away by itself has that ever happened nature is funny thing anything could happen but the chance is about a one in a million the doctor says I don't remember leaving his office I don't remember anything except that I was walking through the streets a good future fine wife kids but I'm going to die there's a drugstore behind thoughts whirled through my mind as I walked up the street where I lived got to get my affairs in order the house to lose it won't be able to pay the mortgage not enough insurance the kids won't be educated I stumbled on the newspaper on the porch it was folded over so I could see only the date and part of the headline which read life life not for me what kind of life will my family have with me gone he thinks then a terrible anger came shaking turning me desperate I've got to do something but what suddenly faintness came the sky world an attack the attack doctor warned me about I guess I lost consciousness for a minute all I can do is tell tell you what happened suddenly the whirling stopped I was still looking up at the sky but it wasn't dark anymore it was bright and sunny it's my house all right but it's fixed up and that little little tree I planted last week it's big now I 
I heard a sound at the side of the house. The lawn was nice. Lots of new bushes and flowers. And in the center of the lawn was a new helicopter. Wow. That's a big house. Helen, my wife, still lovely, but 20 years older. June and Richard, my children, 20 years from now. Wow. Then a man came towards them, grinning, a familiar face, heavier, with less hair on his head. But it was me. Get in, everybody. I've got some fish to catch today. Me, my wife, my family. Can this be? Is this death? There was nothing under my feet. A newspaper on the porch. I looked down. The date was 19... 1975 peace so this is 1955 so it's 20 years later there was a whirling noise the helicopter was rising i watched it and then the sky whirled again turning dark the sun was gone it was night I was on the porch again again the house needed painting the tree was small I had just come from the doctor the paper the date is 1955 the other paper was dated wait it was no attack somehow during those fleeting seconds time jumped ahead 20 years and I was privileged to see the future 20 years from now and I was there I'm not going to die the one chance in a million and I'm going to make it he's all happy look at that the one chance in a million I smiled I opened the door to the warm light inside to the sound of a beloved voice I opened the door to life God bless our happy home. There's a little kid there. That's a nice story. Oh, and she's holding the other kid and a lovely wife with a sub collar. <laughs> nice. Cool. Nice, happy story. Look at this. In 1955, they thought people were going to be having helicopters in their backyard flying to go fishing that would have been cool eh? we're in 2020 and we don't got that going on cool oh this is the story continued from the previous in the earlier pages right and we've got the classifieds here and we got one more story nice nice shop by mail and you got your classified what are these army navy marine insignia 40 for a dollar oh here's another one insignia own the real cobra snake skin oh really rare exotic specimen about four feet long captured by natives in the jungle of british india seeing its unnatural hood oh, two dollars oh i've seen this before ugly blackheads out in seconds try vacuum text sucks out the blackheads oh my god Play guitar, look at this. Play guitar. The most popular instrument in the world. Play guitar. In seven days, 
or get money back song poems wanted cool let's see the last story oh this one's signed cool first prize look at this this one is f 916 and john forte very cool very cool let's read this one right first prize let's read this joel gamby was one of those eager contest enthusiasts who never missed the an opportunity to get his name into the competition never had he won anything that is until one evening in april when he answered the front door first prize let's see what he won let's see what he won you are mr joe gandy we've come about the contest you entered the saturn lucky slogan slogan contest the saturn lucky slogan contest awesome very cool saturn lucky slogan contest Somehow, some of our contest leaflets got down down here from Saturn, and you took the opportunity to answer it. Our contest judges, being completely impartial, have awarded you first prize. Ah, awesome! What? First prize? That? That's his prize. What? And as our practice has always been on Saturn, we award the prize of one healthy Saturnian butler to the winner. What? He's got a Saturnian, Saturnian butler. Okay. It's all a mistake. I entered so many contests. I guess I didn't read it too carefully. I thought it was Saturn, Illinois. Oh, is there a Saturn, Illinois? That doesn't alter the fact that you've won first prize. But I tell you, it's a mistake. You can't leave that link here. Take it back. wait they're gone what will i do now slam just show me the way to the kitchen the butler says now he's cooking what am i gonna do how will i ever explain this i got to stop entering contests <laughs> that's funny this is worse than never winning anything what's going to happen now he's like cleaning nice this can't go on if the people in this town ever find out i've got a creature from another world that i won in a contest they just wouldn't understand is he what is he doing he's knitting maybe people don't like things to happen that would upset things and get into the papers they're gonna get awfully sore at me he thinks he's really worried look you've got to go back where you came from please go home i'm sorry it's impossible 
the butler says okay if that's the way it's gonna be I'll pull a few stunts myself I'll have you jailed for trespassing and breaking into my home Ned come quickly and bring the sheriff with you there's a strange creature from another world right here in my house you've got to do something be right over Joe Ned says a few minutes later he heard them coming on the run he thought his troubles would would be over well we'll we'll see what happens now you'll be sent back to where you came from or my name ain't Joe Ganby what's this guy doing oh he's just pointing at them Joe Gamby oh hey what's going on who did that what's stopping them there's nothing out there that I can see oh I put a little blocker up or something a little force field look at that oh no one of the guys is floating or just banging into something <laughs> look at the butler's face <laughs> hilarious they can't pass the invisible wall I have created because they are trying to remove me from this place that would be against our sat Saturnian law you mean I'm locked up in this place and nobody can come in I'm a prisoner in my own house that was when Joe Ganby realized his entire life would be destroyed unless he found a way to get the strange creature back to Saturn can't even go out to George's place for a game of chess anymore oh no <laughs> the Saturnian is <laughs> vacuuming the place <laughs> oh, funny what's going on here now let's check it out this is the entry form that caused all the trouble is their fault for letting these things get lost as his eye glanced over the contest rules something suddenly clicked inside his mind he got an idea why didn't I think of this before Saturn is a long way off I dated the entry entry before the deadline but it couldn't have gotten there in time The first thing Joe did was to tell the Saturn Saturnian bottler what he had discovered. So you see, you really don't belong here after all. It's a mistake, and I'm not eligible to win first prize. I don't know the correct procedure in this case. I'd better contact my people, he says. Sarazap, this is Axiglip on Earth. My new master tells me there's been a mistake. You'd better send someone down here right away. I've wiggled out of this thing, all right. Nice, he's all happy. Moments later, there was knocks at the do at the front door. That must be them now knock knock what's what's the service come right in this is like moments later from Saturn Joe retold his story to the Saturnians who had come to investigate his complaint I couldn't be the rightful winner of the contest because as you see from my copy it's dated before the deadline but since Saturn is so far away it couldn't have arrived on time you're right mr. Ganby you're not eligible to win the prize we'll have to give it to the next winner cool 
He's all happy. Look at this. The smile on his face. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Gamby. We're sorry to have inconvenienced you with all this trouble. Oh, they're taking the butler away. That's perfectly all right. I'm just glad I don't have to see your first prize anymore. Yay. Yay. We're going to celebrate. Free at last. No more being locked in. Now I can go down to George's place and play chess again. Yay. It's like being released from prison. I can go anywhere in town that I want to. I'm free, he thinks. Boom. Wow. Oh, what in the world? That barrier. How can it be here when he's gone? I don't understand. That's George coming out of his house. Oh, no. It just can't be. Thanks. That is that is he doing what is he doing with George? I don't understand what it's all about. You fool, don't you ever speak to me again? George says. Look at that. Next time you give me a contest entry blank, read it first. <laughs> That's funny. Look at the yelling on his face. He's like, what the hell? I got a Saturnian butler. Funny, funny. This is a great comic. Fun, read, fun, read. Look at this fisherman. Catch more fish. Catch more fish with this new automatic fisherman Sherlocker it's just a vice isn't it catching arm line slot trigger clamp complete only one dollar spring works while you sleep so it's just a vice to lock up the fishing thing that's cool guaranteed how does this work check this out Oh, well, it looks like a little more intricate. The instant fish bites trigger releases automatically, which sets hook in mouth of fish. At the same time, catching arm flies up to make a catch secure. Ah, okay. From a boat, from a pier, from a tree, from a post. So you just lock it on. Order your automatic fisherman fun how much was it one dollar cool what's this one identify even the strangest stamp at a glance oh this is for uh, collecting stamps look at that we haven't seen this one before free world map stamp finder encyclopedia of stamp issuing country the phlegmatic world map and guide also free 30 much wanted foreign stamps cool look at the map you get that's cool stamp collecting man that was huge at one point and another muscle mag muscle advertisement right workout power packed muscles all over i gained 25 terrific pounds of handsome power packed muscles handsome power packed muscles very cool in 10 minutes of fun a day you can do all i did it is before and after cool and the back cover that was a fun read 
Great comic. Great comic. Collector of collectors. Collector of collectors. Very cool, very cool. Let's throw this thing back in its Mylar bag. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on the chat and the notifications and turn on the camera again and get back to the last stream. Very fun read, very fun read. Let's turn on the video. And let's turn on the chat. Oh, there's the chat. And the chat box. Nice. Hey, where is this stuff? This stuff's moved around a little bit on me. Boop. Nice. Hi, gang. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, there's some conversation going on with what's going on around the world, gang. Fun. How long you been going? Ah, oh, we did good timing. It's two hours excellent excellent fun read fun read fun read great pick we got four more to pick from for tomorrow's reading <laughs> great haul a goodbye yeah it was a goodbye it was a fun read the collector of collectors fun stories yeah it was fun stories very fun reading for the uh for a saturday yeah super fun the collector of collectors that one cracked me up big time the butler one's fantastic too by the way that was great and beautiful artwork beautiful artwork i wonder what the number uh system is on it i'm assuming it's their filing uh just a different files and stuff like that gang should we call the stream i'll be back we're gonna do another comic book reading uh tomorrow morning at 10 a.m okay so uh we'll see what else we're gonna read it was okay not grounded enough for me though <laughs> it was bright it was happy like it was it was light reading right uh, i liked it i liked it. it had science fiction in there uh so i liked the science fiction after that's by cheryl's rolling her eyes <laughs> hilarious I had science fiction readings in there the nice fun like the guy the homeless guy the guy was hungry he did a kind deed and he was being rewarded he went through the gambit and finally ended up being arrested and having a fantastic Christmas, well, a good Christmas dinner. And he has a card that, you know, he could find that person that offered him a job and get a job as well. So it, it was all very, very positive. And we had chess pieces that fall in love. Very cool, very cool. Why not? Why not? Gang, we'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Okay aside from that uh mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for being here uh thank you for sharing some infogram i saw a couple of things going there good job catching the number uh system on there right uh aside from that gang i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this is all about i am on patreon and patreon is a great way to do so it must be a filing system gram yeah I've, i think the same thing must be a filing system so all the original art must be there and stuff man what how oh my god if you could have got your hands on that stuff oof 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 a lot of that stuff got destroyed by the way from what i understand right uh but you can follow the work on patreon if you want to know what this is all about everything's layered on mathematics gang for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support and i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share a like gang okay we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and mods again thank you for taking care of business thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for being here and i hope you enjoyed the reading i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo Par parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and we do share additional content there as well and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a fair bit of information and keeping in touch and whatnot and after the streams we have a chat folder some people are continuing the conversation there and you can come to our twitch page anytime you want and in the chat just type in 
exclamation mark social the way elder god did it now and all the links will pop up including the link to our discord page we do upload the live streams when we have open discussions when we don't have any visuals to soundcloud as podcast and that can be found on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform as well and we will be uploading this video this reading to both bitshoot and youtube and you can support this work by subscribing there turning on notifications sharing liking commenting and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership there's a button there for those of you who've joined youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang i hope you have a fantastic saturday for those of you in australia and new zealand i hope you have a fantastic sunday and if you're around tomorrow in 22 hours we do another reading we're going to pick another comic book from the four we chose we have out and i have a read through that one great my <laughs> you guys as well i mean thank you for being here bye everyone and i'll see you tomorrow if you can make it okay